Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. I am Saleh, the little parliamentarian, and this is my little sister Amal. Hello. Welcome to the Council of Representatives. Today we will get to learn some interesting information and visit the Council. What does the Council of Representatives mean? Who is the chairman of the Council? How are the Council members selected? What does the Council of Representatives do? Are you ready? Let's go! What is the Council of Representatives? It is a council consisting of 40 members. And what does the Council of Representatives do? The main function of the Council of Representatives is drafting the laws and legislations of the country and overseeing the work of executive bodies and ministries. And how are the members of this council selected? First, the member of the Council of Representatives runs for an election to represent the people in his constituency. And at this stage, he or she is called a candidate. There may be more than one candidate in your constituency during the elections. Your parents vote for the candidate they prefer and favor, and whom they want to represent them at the Council of Representatives. A candidate becomes a member of the Council of Representatives, a deputy, when he wins the majority of the votes of the people in the constituency he or she is representing. A candidate might win by acclamation and that means he or she is the only candidate running in his constituency. In the first session, an MP takes the constitutional oath, which is, I swear by the Almighty God to be loyal to the country and the king, and to respect the constitution and the laws of the state, and to uphold the people's freedom, interest, and property and to undertake my duties with integrity and honesty. And what does an MP do? An MP attends the Council of Representatives sessions. They are weekly meetings of the members of Parliament, and the meetings of the Council committees as well. He or she proposes laws and participates in discussing and endorsing them. He or she uses the tools provided to him or her by the virtue of the Constitution to oversee the work of the government and its executive bodies. An MP also talks with the people of his or her constituency and raises issues and problems that matter to them such as housing, water, electricity, education and prices amongst other things. An MP has the right to convey the issues of the people to the council with the aim of keeping the council informed about the issues and problems that the people face in their electoral constituencies and trying to find solutions and suggestions to solve these problems. But Saleh, can any person be a member of the Council of Representatives? There are certain conditions that a person must meet to be able to run for the election. He or she must be a Bahraini. He or she must be at least 30 years old on the day of the elections. He or she must be able to read and write well in Arabic. His or her membership in either the Shura Council or the Council of Representatives must not have been abrogated due to the loss of qualification or esteem or for being in breach of duties of the Council membership. The Shura Council? What is the Shura Council? What a great question! The Council of Representatives is considered as one of the two councils of the legislative authority in the country, which consists of the Shura Council and the Council of Representatives. The Council of Representatives is a council elected by the people. But the 40 members of the Shura Council are appointed by His Majesty the King. It consists of an elite group of people who have experiences in the important issues of the country in order to use their views for the welfare of the country and its citizens. Thank you, Saleh. And who heads the Council of Representatives? The Council Chairman, who is elected by the Council members in the first session of the legislative term. Two deputies of the Speaker are elected in the same session for the same term. I got it. But may I ask you, for how long does the work of the council continue? The period of the council's term, Amal, is similar to the educational stages. You study six years in the elementary stage, right? And it is called the elementary stage. So does the legislative term of the Council of Representatives. It continues for four parliamentary sessions, each for a minimum period of seven months. The legislative term ends by a royal order. After that, the parliamentary recession begins for a minimum period of four months, after which parliamentary elections take place once again. Do you know, Emma, that the members of the Council of Representatives meet every Tuesday and that is called a session? Let us visit the place where the members of the Council meet. Yes, let's go. The Speaker of the Council sits here. 
And this is the parliamentary gavel he uses to keep the sessions orderly in case of a disorder or an intense debate just like the teacher in class. And this is where the members of the council sit? Yes, well done, Amal. What about here? Who sits here? This is the platform for the ministers. Ministers attend the sessions of the council to discuss issues related to their ministries with the MPs. And who sits here? This is where the Secretary General of the Council of Representatives, the Assistant Secretary General of Committees and Sessions Affairs, the Assistant Secretary General for Human and Financial Resources, Information Technology and Services, and the Head of the Legal Consultants are seated. And who is the Secretary General of the Council? The Secretary General is considered the highest ranking official in the Secretary General of the Council. The Secretary General is a technical and administrative body that assists the members of the Council in performing their parliamentary, legislative, political and financial duties. Nice! And here? Senior officials of the Secretary General sit here. And representatives of ministries and governmental bodies sit here. Nice! Are the citizens allowed to attend these sessions? Of course! They are public sessions that all citizens have the right to attend by contacting the Secretary General of the Council. And this is the guest's balcony. And across from it is the balcony for journalists and media. Have you enjoyed this visit, Emma? Yes, so much. Great. Now let us go visit one of the committee meeting halls. Here, in these halls, the council committees meet. The committees are formed during the first week of the ordinary parliamentary session. There are five standing committees. Committee on Legislative and Legal Affairs. Committee on Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security. Committee on Financial and Economic Affairs. Committee on Services, Committee on Public Facilities and Environment. The Council has formed Standing Select Committees. They are Select Standing Committee on Youth and Sport, Select Standing Committee on Women and Child Affairs, Select Standing Committee for Supporting Palestinian People, Select Standing Committee on Human Rights. The Council of Representatives has the right to form contemporary committees or inquiry committees on any matter within the term of the Council. And to execute this, ministers and all state officials are obliged by the Constitution to provide requested certificates, documents, and related information for the inquiry purposes. And now would you like to know what the Council Bureau is and where they convene? Of course! The Council Bureau consists of the Speaker, Deputy Speakers, and Heads of the Five Standing Committees. The Bureau is concerned with setting the agenda of sessions, reviewing the annual State Draft Budget of the Council, and its Closing Accounts Draft, following up on the work of the Council Committees, reviewing the reports submitted by delegations on their duties and visits, and any other issues for which the view of the Council is taken at the discretion of the Speaker. And here is where the members of the Bureau meet. Have you enjoyed your visit to the Council of Representatives, Amal? Yes, and I have learned a lot of useful information. What about you? Did you like the visit? Let us test your information in this fun game. How many members of the Council of Representatives are there? Well done! 40 members! How many standing committees are there? Well done, five standing committees. The member of the Council of Representatives must be at least... Yes, 30 years.
How long is each legislative term? That is correct. The legislative term consists of four parliamentary sessions. The Speaker of the Council has a number of deputies who replace him when he is absent. How many deputies of the Speaker are there? That's nice. Well done. Yes, the Speaker has two deputies. My little parliamentarian friends, I hope that you've enjoyed your visit to the Council of Representatives and that you have learned so much information. See you and goodbye.